What is up YouTube, Kids of Aki HD here. I am so sorry that I have not uploaded in a while. It's just because my exams are coming up, you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, today I'll be doing a team analysis episode on this team here. A wonderful League 1 team belonging to Bolton Boy Glenn with the main aim of improving his attack to a more goal-scoring threat with 25,000 coins. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice league. I haven't done League 1 before, so uh, I did make some changes. And uh, this is it right here. I kept with Remy. And I switched to a 4 triple 2 2 D-mids in Matudi and Suzoko, very nice. And some defensive changes as well. So, I've actually included some gameplay this time around to, uh, to keep you guys entertained. So, the thing I like about my changes is that you've already got Remy. And as you can see here, he's very agile. He's got the dribbling. And it's a poor finish by me. But his 91 acceleration just speaks whips. But the one stat from Remy, which I don't need to tell you about because you've already picked him. But the one stat which is so underrated on Remy... Is his 81 shot power. I just don't understand how it's not higher. So I definitely think you were correct by sticking with Remy. Now the reason why I've switched to a 4 triple 2 is because you said you're having trouble scoring. Now when I play a 4 triple 2 I usually have one pacey guy and one slower guy. So in this case a slower guy is Lopez. Okay. And the reason for that is that the slower guy is usually the supporting striker. So he won't bag as many goals but he'll bag nearly all the assists. So I think an example of what I'm talking about is like here. I'm going up the wing with Lopez. I'm cutting in. I'm giving it to Remy. And then you've got that fret there with the cams, so you can just cross it in and score. Whereas in the 4-2-3-1 that you were playing before, the cams are a lot more further back compared to the striker. So the striker's never really got any passing options up front. And that's just that's just based on your playstyle. Some people can play perfectly with a 4-2-3-1. Some people prefer the two strikers up top. And I'm one of the people that prefer the two strikers up top. Now, the reason I went with Lopez, just for chemistry links, uh, is one reason. But another reason is just the two stats I love about him the most is his shot power, which is 83. Again, I think that's quite I think that's quite low for Lopez. I'd say Lopez has definitely at least got an 86 or an 87 shot power within him. Um, he's wonderful at free kicks. I think he's got 87 power and like 85 curve and 79 accuracy or whatnot. I've got something like... something. I, I score a free kick with him later, so you'll see his stats. But yeah, I like Lopez because of that, and I like it because of his 87 finishing too. And as you can see with this team as well, you don't also have the strikers and the cams being able to score, but you have the agility and the dribbling within every aspect of the team. Van der Wiel going in, dribbling through gaps, and scoring. As well as that, I changed the keeper up uh, to Mandanda. That's again due to a preference. Some people like Sirigu, some people like Mandanda. But Mandanda is just a reflex save keeper. He'll pull out these crazy saves. He's like Wojciech Chesney if you watch the Premier League. Oh, so here's the free kick with Lopez. There's his stats. And as you'll see, I'll slot this one nicely over the wall because this guy's just moved out of the way. But, <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, back to the point. The thing with, um, with Steve Mandanda is that he'll make these crazy saves, but They'll scare the living Christ out of you. I mean, you'll look at some of these and you'll go, wow, why is he running out from a corner by himself? Because I don't ever rush the keeper out. And he just punches it away. And that's it's scary, but it works. It is effective at times. Other than that, I would say another change I made was Valbuena. Now, Valbuena is one of the most underrated people in League 1. That's, that's a non-rare. He has 93 acceleration, 98 agility, 92 balance, and 86 dribbling. Again... Being able to go up that wing as a cam, as a winger or a cam, depending if you like to switch up the four triple two in game. But he can uh, fully run down the wing. He can easily cut in and be a cam slash winger. Or if you want to just pretty much play him as you know his destination of cam. His short passing is also wonderful. His free kicks are actually quite decent as well. And uh, you know his small height, his small centre of gravity means that he's extremely good with his you know dribbling and his agility. And he's very quick. And uh, everyone loves a bit of quickness on the Ultimate Team. Let's be honest. Last uh, person I'm going to be talking about is Bedimo, the left back. Now, basically, Bedimo was a change I put in there due to the fact that he has 83 strength. And now, for a left back, 83 strength combined with the pace he has, don't actually have his pace stats on me, but I know he's fast, is excellent. I think it's 82 sprint speed he has. So, due to the fact he's got 83 strength, he can, you know, close down the opposition's team, grab their shirt, pull them back. Making it one really good effective wing back if you want to play a wing back or a left back, whatever. But um, yeah, that's pretty much you know the 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 four key players of the team: Bedimo, Valbuena, Lopez, and Remy. Other than that, I couldn't really do a lot with your team because for me, a League One team, I like to have a bigger budget. But this is a kind of nice team for you, definitely. I think Valbuena is definitely someone that you can grow to like. Again, with a near post, he is wonderful. And look at him, look at him running and praying. 
He's just like a, a sweet Michael Jackson, isn't he, really? Let's be honest. But, yeah, I would definitely say go with this team. This team was extremely cheap. You didn't see the price before in the top right-hand corner. It's it's about 13,000 coins. So, you know, cheap and easy to make upgrades to. So, just again, a quick summary of your team. The attack is amazing. You're paying for bang for buck. These guys, especially the strikers, Remy and Lopez, can score these hardcore power shots, which is definitely something that ultimate team users like a supporting striker in Lopez will guarantee you get more goals due to the more options you have up front rather than that isolated striker in Remy the midfield's passing with Matudi, Sissoko, Pastore and Valbuena is all excellent you have two attacking minded cams with sick passing and two defensive minded demids with amazing passing as well again providing balls left right and center you can cross ball through you can a ball through you can wire ball through it all works the passing is top notch and then finally for another pro is that it's only 14, 14 or 13,000 coins spent. So you have, you know, 11k to, to do whatever you want. If you like Sirigu, get Sirigu instead. What, you know, whatever. The cons though, Mandanda can be stupid. As I said, he can run out and make these suicidal, you know, chances for the opponent. And sometimes they do go in. Lopez may be too slow for you. You might be a pace guy. You may not like someone with 82 pace. And the defensive positioning, especially from Sacco, can sometimes stray as he can fill into the demid spot and cause a gap in your defence. So that's all from me, guys. Make sure you drop a like. And uh, if you're new, drop me a sub. And that is it from your favourite Slovak. Until next time, God bless you and have a wonderful bank holiday weekend. You lovely people. In a bit.